Hello my dear Grizzlies, welcome back to the Grizzify channel. My name is Andreas and today we are speaking about the whole proof of funds thematic, about what happened to FTX and we are going to go through how you can figure out yourself how many assets Grizzify owns and I can tell you right now it's zero. So what do I mean when I'm saying that Grizzify holds zero funds. To understand that, we need to understand first why FTX got bankrupt, why they had liquidity issues. Um, so let's jump straight into that. So first of all, before you can understand why I can say that Grizzify holds zero assets, we need to understand why there was a problem with FTX. So with a centralized exchange, what you do is you create an account, you deposit crypto, and then it's basically not your crypto anymore. It's very important to understand. When you deposit in an exchange, also like Binance, FTX, and so on, it's not your tokens anymore, not your coins, not your keys, not your coins, right? That's what everyone's saying, especially right now. Why? because you deposit it on the platform, you don't own the private key, that's very important. When you invest in Grizzify, however, you use your MetaMask, your Trust Wallet, your Wallet Connect, whatever, and you have stored your own seed phrase, your own private key. You are the only owner of your own funds. Very, very important. Now, why did FTX go bust? Very easy. They landed out money, your money if you had money on FTX and did trades with it. They leveraged it, they bought some stuff, mostly FTT, they bought these FTTs, borrowed more money, they did crazy things, similar like the banks do. That's daily business for banks, daily business. But in crypto you can't do it because there is not enough trust in the crypto in the crypto economy yet. So when you want to figure out how much money is in Grizzly, you just go to the platform as you can see here. You see 45 million dollars are deposited right now in Grizzlyfy. You see these different hives, you see the honeypot 17 million, you see here 1.8 million, 6.5, uh, 6.2 million, 11 million, 300k, 500k, 300k and so on and so on and so on. So a lot of different pools, a lot of different things, and there is all the money. So if you add everything up, it equals to the 45 million. So how can you figure out if the money is actually there? You can just go on details, boom, and you can click here on view contract. So we are here in the G Honey BUSD hive. There is 1.8 million in this hive. So when we go here and we see, oh, there is zero, oh, there is, there is nothing, there is, there is no money, where is the money, right? Uh, you just have to go and check in these transactions. So let's go here, let's find a deposit transaction real quick. Because we see here, uh, unstake state from token. Should be that, yes, exactly. So here someone uh, wanted to invest a few BNBs into this hive, right? And you see all these transactions that are happening. And the last transaction is that the smart contract is taking the liquidity pool tokens, the LP tokens, and depositing them to be swapped. That's why in this contract there is no, uh, no money, right? Because how can we get, how can Grizzly achieve this 96% uh, APY? It's because it takes, you're, you're depositing money, right? You're depositing, for example, one BNB. But Grizzlyfy takes this BNB, converts it into these Jihani BUSD LP tokens and deposits them to B swap, to buy swap, because that's where the money is made, right? And you know exactly what you are doing, right? You know exactly, hey, I'm investing into this hive, this money is created on B swap. Very important that you know this, all very transparent. So that's why there is there is a zero over here, wait. There is a zero over here, ah, exactly, there is a zero over here, but you see, still, people are unstaking, people are taking money out, people are putting money in, so that's no, no, no issue here. Exactly, and that's it. That's why Grizzify didn't have to post a proof of funds, um, because Grizzify holds zero funds, because all the money that is invested in Grizzify, the 45 million, only belongs to you, and you only. There were five audits, uh, confirming that that the money 
that you deposit in Greasyfy is actually your money and that is actually invested in these platforms as they as it's told on the Crucify front end. So there is a whole other discussion that's way more important that we have to do right now and that's centralized finance in crypto against decentralized finance in crypto obviously. So right now what happened? There was a lot of trust that left the CFI space. A lot of people started to withdraw money out of exchanges so crypto.com might have problems, Gate.io might have problems because all of these people, all of these users like you probably also took money out of these exchanges just to be safe and this is totally fine, you, all, you should do that, right? So a lot of people are now rethinking how they should store their cryptocurrencies and what do they do? Obviously, they take the money out and put it on decentralized wallets like a MetaMask, like Blockchain.com, like a Trust Wallet, like Exodus and so on and so on where they know for sure that their money is not being lended out to other people, not being made, that their money is not being used for additional profits, that it's being speculated on and so on and so on. That's very important. That's also how it should be. Because when Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008 released the Bitcoin white paper, it was called digital peer-to-peer -peer cash. And that's what it was in the beginning. People started sending money, they all had their fancy little, uh, little desktop uh, wallets, uh, which were very ugly, very, very hard to use, but they actually started to become their own bank. But then exchanges came around the corner and made everything look nicer, look like more familiar with accounts. Just finally, you could invest like real money. You, you had this uh, fiat on ramps, you could pay crypto with credit card and so on. So that's, uh, that's what they brought in and it was very beneficial for the space, but they centralized it again. So all the money of Binance is held on a few wallets. That's crazy. They hold everything in their own wallets and if anything happens to any other exchange you lose your money that's the same way as when a bank goes bust you also lose your money however banks are being bailed out governments say oh take the money take the money um, don't go don't go bankrupt and just uh, continue business right but no one is coming around the corner and saving FTX right that's the main difference and now there is a massive paradigm shift in the people. They start to understand what does it mean to hold crypto centralized versus holding crypto decentralized. Very important now. You see massive outflows out of these exchanges. Where do they go? As I mentioned, decentralized wallets. When people want to exchange on these decentralized wallets, where do they have to go? They will not go back to Binance or FTX and do some trades and go back out, right? It's way too complicated. They start to learn about PancakeSwap, they start to learn about Uniswap, about SushiSwap, they start to learn about Curve, about Grizzly, about the DeFi Frank, right? They start to learn about all these different decentralized applications. Education right now is pumping. You have a lot of people talking about how to navigate the decentralized finance space. And that's exactly why we believe that obviously this FTX debacle, this whole losing trust will set back the crypto market for years, but it will wake people up to the idea of becoming their own bank. That's exactly what Grizzify is where that's exactly what Crucify is wearing on its chest every day, right? I don't have the shirt on right now, but we're talking about DeFi for everyone and that's the goal for Grizzify. Right now we are going to finish the roadmap as we have as we already discussed it a long while ago for 2022 we launch a leverage feature we go on Ethereum we combine the Moneta ecosystem with the Grizzify ecosystem to bring the leverage feature we work on multiple different things so this year in 2022 we are going to strictly follow the already determined roadmap we're going to launch on Ethereum we're gonna combine the Grizzify ecosystem with the Moneta ecosystem together, bring leverage, bring more volume, bring the best yields possible to Grizzify. But the roadmap for 2023 is not announced and it's going to be announced step by step. So we are flourishing right now. The team is hiring more people. We are growing every, every day and already working on the roadmap of 2023. 
and we want to announce it to you with an explosion because it is an explosion. So we are going to build more infrastructure for more people to navigate the decentralized finance space and this will all benefit you as a current investor, as a holder of G-Honey. There's going to be so crazy things we want to bring the DeFi technology to as many people as possible without them understanding that they're using DeFi technology. Right now, all the DeFi projects that are being released, they talk about this, about that, about even more complex things because finance is complex. We want to remove all of that complexity, make it as easy as possible for you, even the beginning, the very, very beginning, when you start to jump in to the DeFi market, you should not know, you should not need to know that you are using decentralized technology, that you're using the blockchain, right? That's the goal here. Build a product that uses blockchain technology without people actually knowing that it's the blockchain technology. And that's exactly how the internet became as big as it is right now. When you navigate the internet, when you're going on YouTube, Google, or Grizzify to claim your honey tokens, you don't know which IP address you're in, which network, right? You have no idea what's happening under the hood. And that's exactly how it should be. So be excited for this as I am. Thank you for listening all the way through. I know it's tough times right now. Stay strong, keep your coins off exchanges, keep them on decentralized wallets, Make sure to, to learn about this technology and stay safe. Thank you very much for listening. Talk to you very soon in the next one. Bye-bye.